If you've ever been to a backyard barbecue in Missouri, then you've undoubtedly heard about barbecue pork steaks. I've partnered with my alma mater, Mizzou, to give you my take on this easy to make delicious recipe that is perfect to serve up at tailgates. We do need to start off though by prepping up those pork steaks. Sound good? Let's grill. We are gonna reverse sear these on the grill outside. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do it at home. And the reason for doing this is it will absolutely help keep it so juicy, so tender, and better yet, you can control the internal temperature so that it's not overcooked or overly charred on that grill outside. Okay, I have eight total pork steaks here. Only six fit on my sheet tray. I have two on a plate over there. They're pretty big. What we wanna do is just season these up. Now, you can get pork steaks at just about any butcher shop in Missouri, or if you don't have them, just ask them to cut them right off the pork butt. They're about a half inch to an inch thick. They are perfect for barbecuing and so, so good. I've got a really simple spice blend that we're gonna put on top. We're gonna be starting off by seasoning with about a quarter teaspoon of onion granules. I like granules because they just have a little bit more intense flavor. Next, a quarter teaspoon of garlic granules. Then a quarter teaspoon of dry oregano. And then last but not least, we wanna to season to taste with a little bit of sea salt and then some black pepper. And when you season, season high. By that I mean be about a half foot to a foot off from what you're seasoning so that you can cover all the surface area of that pork steak and definitely season both sides. Pork steaks are done, they look fantastic. Do not skimp out on seasoning these. That's what's gonna make them so flavorful and that much better. Now for the reverse sear out on that grill. It doesn't matter if you're gonna use a gas grill, a charcoal grill, or even if you have a smoker, fantastic. We need to get it up to 225 degrees just using one side of the grill for heat. Let's go ahead and take our pork steaks right outside of that grill. We're going to open up the lid. What I'm going to do is make sure the heat is on the right side and I'm going to place the pork steaks on the other side. Again, if you have charcoal, push it to one side of the grill after you've heated it up. Now we want to turn on the heat. Again, high or medium, just one burner. Close the lid. The goal here is to get it to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's to that temperature, we're gonna place the pork steaks again on the other side of the grill, away from the heat. We're almost creating an oven-like environment. Spread the pork steaks out all over the grill grates. And then once they're on there, simply close the lid to the grill. We're gonna cook for in between an hour and a half and two hours. We obviously have some time, so let's talk about barbecue sauce. Now, if you live in St. Louis, you know you're probably going to be using malls. If you don't like malls, use your favorite barbecue sauce here, no, no problem. But what if we wanna make a homemade version of malls? Here's what I'm gonna do. All right, we are gonna start off with 28 ounces of tomato puree. Now we add a bunch of ingredients, starting with two thirds cup of white vinegar. Next, we have a quarter cup of corn syrup. You can use light or dark here. Then I have a quarter cup of packed light brown sugar. We are gonna add in two teaspoons of Worcester sauce. Next, we are going to add in a tablespoon of dark molasses. Scrape all that goodness in there. Then we have the juice of one lemon. We have a half cup of orange juice. I know, total kitchen sink barbecue sauce here. Next, a quarter cup of soy sauce. Next, we're gonna add in a few dashes of hot sauce. If you really like spice, you can add a little bit more, no problem at all. Next, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of onion granules, and then two teaspoons of garlic granules. And to thicken everything up real, real nice, we're gonna add in three tablespoons of tomato paste, now we're gonna heat it up. Going right over to our cooktop, what we're gonna do is crank the heat onto high, put a whisk in there, let's mix all these ingredients until combined. What we wanna do is just bring this to a boil. It doesn't have to be a rolling boil. If you see bubbles around the outside like this, perfect. Let's give it a quick stir. Then what we wanna do at this point is turn the heat down to low, and then we're gonna simmer it for about 10 minutes. After that time, just come back and set it to the side. Awesome flavors in that barbecue sauce. You've got a little bit of sweet, a little bit of tang, a little bit of spice, going to pair up really, really nicely with that pork when it comes time to sauce it up. But since we have so much time, 
I wonder what my favorite memory at Mizzou is. Of course, outside of the awesome education I received to equip me with everything I need to learn to be a producer, shooter, and editor of all my own videos, and of course, making some really crazy funny videos back in college, the moment that stands out the most to me is probably back in my freshman year in Columbia when the Mizzou Tigers beat the Nebraska Cornhuskers for the first time in 25 years at home. What an electric atmosphere. Seriously, such a fun night there. So many great memories, and I still try to catch as many sporting events as possible, whether I'm watching TV or even go back to Columbia, Missouri to catch them. Okay, back to the pork steaks. What we want to do is get these to 160 to 163 degrees Fahrenheit internally. We are almost there. And remember I said we could do this at home? What you do is add the pork steaks right to a rack over a sheet tray in the oven at 225. Same thing, 160 to 163 degrees Fahrenheit internally. Once you're there, you can sear them at a grill on home or even transport them to your tailgate. There's a hot grill, cook them up. All right, a few more minutes to get these finished up. Let's head out to the grill, see how we're doing. Immediately stick a thermometer in there, we'll see what temperature we're at, 162, perfect. In between 160 and 163, fantastic. At this point, we are going to remove all those pork steaks, set them to the side on a platter or sheet tray, whatever you have, close the lid. Bust the heat on every single burner. If you have charcoal, add some more, get this cranking to at least 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna come back, lay those pork steaks all over the grill. Remember the whole thing is hot, direct heat here, perfect. We're going to only cook these for in between three and four minutes. Again, we just want a little bit of a char. So we're gonna flip them over and the second that we flip those over. Let's go grab our homemade barbecue sauce. What we wanna do is slather it all over the top here. Use a spoon or a pastry brush, either will be fine. At this point, close the lid, just cook it another three or four minutes. We wanna crust up that barbecue sauce a little bit. I mean, these look absolutely phenomenal. The goal here is to remove all the pork steaks. Don't layer them up, okay, spread them out. We're gonna let them rest for about five minutes before we serve them up. And to all my Comeys out there, it will depend on how thick those pork steaks are. It may take a little bit more time, it may take a little bit less time. But we'll always go back to these fundamental cooking techniques, knowing how to get that perfect sear, hitting it with that sauce right after we flip it, all of those things, putting it in the practice over and over again will absolutely elevate your everyday cooking. Now, let's plate this up. You can put these on a plate or a platter. I like this little serving tray I have here. It's got a little lip on the outside, which is perfect because I'm going to load it up with a lot more of our homemade sauce. The other thing you could do is add on some sliced chives or green onions. That reverse sear just does something magical. So tender and juicy and the flavor is fantastic. Now, if you're looking for a sweet treat to serve up at a tailgate or at your next get together, definitely check out my gooey butter cake. Oh. So good. I've got a great recipe video. I'll see you on there. M-I-Z.